Happy Thursday, everybody. Tropical Storm Debbie made landfall earlier this morning in parts of South Carolina. It's going to continue to push off towards the north today and tomorrow, bringing us some increased chances of some rainfall. Now, as of the 8 a.m. advisory, the winds have come down just a bit. 45 mile per hour max sustained winds as of the 8 a.m. advisory gusts up to 65 miles per hour. And that's going to continue to weaken as we go throughout the day today and tomorrow. Now, since it's not over those warm waters anymore, just doesn't have the fuel it needs to continue to grow and strengthen. So by the time we get to later today, early tomorrow morning, it'll weaken back into a tropical depression, continuing to push off towards the north as a remnant low, and it's going to continue to pick up speed as it moves off towards the north. And that's a good thing because the last couple of days when it was off the coast of the Carolinas of South Carolina, it was moving at two, three, four miles per hour, which helped dump tons of rain in those areas. And as it continues to move quicker, that helps bring the rainfall away quicker. So the flooding potential starts to go down just a little bit. As we take a look at the tropical tropical watches and the warnings, tropical storm warnings from Charleston just to the south of the outer banks. But after that, those should start to go away as this pushes off potential rainfall as we head into Friday and Saturday, anywhere from one to two inches possible. Highest amounts of rainfall will be out towards the west and we do have the potential to see some severe weather today. Now the slight risk or the level one risk is areas from Norfolk down or up to Hampton down towards Elizabeth City, a level one risk out of level five. So it's a low risk, but the risk is there. Now as we look at the severe weather potential more out towards the west towards Franklin along I-95, a level two risk. So the chances are a little bit higher and we do have that tornado watch in effect until one o'clock this afternoon. There's also something else we're tracking in the tropical Atlantic. It only has about a 20% chance of development within the next seven days. But again, something to continue to watch over the next couple of days because the peak of hurricane season is in the middle of September. So we still have a long way to go before we get to the peak of the season. And just remember hurricane season lasts until the end of November. So we do have a couple of months left to continue to watch the tropics.